Welcome back. You're still with us on Startup Street. The central government has set a target of eliminating tuberculosis from India by 2025. Now, to support the government's agenda, homegrown biotech startup MyLab has partnered with Cure AI, a provider of AI software for medical imaging, to launch a tuberculosis screening solution. Under the partnership, MyLab's soon to be launched handheld X ray device, MyBeam, will leverage Cure AI software QXR for early detection of tuberculosis and lung health issues. To discuss the application of these tools and what the partnership entails, I'm now joined by Hasmukh Rawal, MD and co founder of MyLab Discovery Solutions, and Prashant Warrior, co founder and CEO of Cure AI. And with me, my colleague Arundhati Ramanan. Welcome to the show, uh, Hasmukh and Prashant. Uh, Hasmukh, coming to you first. India remains the highest contribu contributor to global TB cases, accounting for 26% of total cases and 34% of all deaths world worldwide. So I want to understand from you that what's the gap in diagnosing and treating tuberculosis and how is this partnership with Cure AI aiming to solve that problem? So the most important aspect in uh, solving the TB cases is screening them uh, effectively until unless you do not bring people on screening uh, platforms and then uh, do an effective confirmatory test, you will not be able to identify them. Our PM's uh, vision is to eradicate TB by 2025, which is five years earlier than the globe's target of 2030. And in that case, uh, effective screening tool, effective diagnostic tool, and effective treatment and prevention tool will help. Uh, though India ranks uh, uh, ahead in uh, TB cases, I think the tools made in India, uh, which MyLab and uh, effect, uh, the NOD companies like QRAI is bringing, I think India will also lead in solving the TB for the world. All right, um, uh, Hasmuk, uh, hi, Arundhati here. Now, with this partnership, you'll be launching MyBeam, a portable X-ray device. How does it help you diagnose infectious diseases like TB, especially in its early stages, and with what kind of accuracy? Can you tell us how it will help expand the clinical coverage? Uh, so the first uh, tool in order to detect uh, or screen people for TB is knowing whether the TB, uh, there is a chest congestion, whether there is a chance because the active TB uh, resides in your lung. Uh, so a good X-ray and a good uh, radiology report of that X-ray is very, very critical in order to know this. Now, for the program to work uh, uh, in order to screen effectively, it is possible either you bring people to a, a center where there is an effective uh, TB screening tool uh, for X-ray and the whole system, or you can also build it otherwise where you can decentralize the screening by building a handled X-ray, which you can go in the field. Uh, most of the villagers uh, where they are working, for them it is not possible many times where they can go to a central uh, laboratory or a central uh, location uh, where the testing can happen because for them the daily uh, working, daily basis are important. So reaching to all these villages, making that uh, decentralized and effective accessible tool uh, with a handled x-ray is very very critical the second part is how you report and interpret uh, at the report and if you can automate this by uh, ai tool processing and luckily QRA has have done the hard work uh, over a uh, period of last years where they got the who clearance as well in order to effectively take a look at the report and tell which is the suspected case and which can be further done by a, a certain a screening, uh, sorry, a confirmatory test. So building this tool where you can go with a handled X-ray, it, it, it should. So what we have built, uh, my beam is around two 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 kg uh, platform where you can go in the field, uh, take the X-ray, and uh, just upload the report with the AI interpretation, uh, so that you definitely know which of these people uh, can be subjected for the further test. Uh, so the tool was built by our partner company, Lipomic, uh, where we uh, acquired the technology and started working with them. All right. Now, Prashant, coming to you, you're providing your AI software QXR to my labs. So what's the technology all about and how do you ensure that the quality of data used in your AI ML models is optimal? How does it help in reducing the turnaround time of getting the test results? And, uh, you know, other than tuberculosis, where else can this uh, you know, tool be applicable? Thank you. Thank you for um, having me here. Uh, so, uh, I mean, we are, uh, I'm, I'm co-founder and CEO of Cure AI, and we build AI solutions to interpret radiology images. So, uh, it includes X-rays, CTs, ultrasounds, and this, the solution we're talking about today is the interpretation of chest X-rays for tuberculosis. And uh, this technology has been trained on 5 million plus X-rays. So, it's trained on a lot of data, and uh, from various parts of the world, it has been validated by uh, some of the top organizations, including WHO, uh, FIND, Stop TB Partnership, uh, McGill University. So it's been validated, evaluated. And what we do is 
I mean, you asked about turnaround time, right? What we do is that you are able to read an X-ray. I mean, so it take, takes about four to five days to get an X-ray read in the field uh, through a radiologist. And we are able to do that within a minute. So in fact, within 10 seconds. So X-ray gets taken and within 10 seconds, we are able to interpret that and tell you whether it's TB or not. And uh, as per the guidelines released by WHO in 2021, X-ray X-ray uh, take. All right. Prashant, we seem to have you on a bad line there. Let's try and connect you again. I'm going to bring Hasmuk back into the conversation. Hasmuk, can you take us through some of the partnerships that you forged to deploy these devices? How many such machines will um, you be initially deploying and where? So the most important part is manufacturing it in India, manufacturing at a cost, and make sure that it is accessible and affordable to all. Uh, so our first focus is to build a cost-effective handled X-ray, uh, which can be carried by even an ASHA worker if re required in the field. Uh, very easy to operate. Uh, sub automation, a lot of automation and subjective error-free, uh, just like the one Covid self we launched. We wanted to make sure that it, it becomes mistake-proof for all. Uh, so similar lines, uh, the focus was to build a very effective tool. Uh, right now, our focus is to scale at a cost. Uh, second would be to forge right partnership and if possible to make sure that uh, whether it is uh, through CSR activity or through government public private partnership, we effectively deploy it at, at least every district. Uh, one more approach which we are trying is to build it on a mobile van, mobile vehicle, uh, so that it can be carried to every district, it can, it can be in every district and you can just go to the villages, uh, do the camp, uh, get the data and if you uh, suspect a patient, to collect a sputum as well which can be run on our other platform. Along with handled X-ray, we have also launched in partnership with Serum a latent TB test, which is a next generation uh, latency uh, detection for TB, which is a hidden TB. And very recently, we also got a national TB program approval for uh, TB and TB drug racers as well. So our focus is to build effective end-to-end -end screening, detect, treat, and prevent strategy in order to help the uh, government and help, help the globe to eradicate TB. Uh, now that we have Prashant back on the line, Prashant, I wanted to uh, understand from you uh, that you're providing your AI software, uh, uh, you know, uh, the most commonly used diagnostic tool for tuberculosis has been skin test, uh, you know, the blood tests are becoming uh, commonplace now. So I wanted to understand that, uh, you know, how is Cure AI's uh, lung health suite of products complementing the existing screening and diagnostic solutions? No, so uh, currently the WHO protocol calls for an X-ray followed by an interpretation, which is what we provide. We provide an interpretation to the chest X-ray. And uh, WHO also um, recommended uh, the use of these kinds of technologies, especially our technology, as an alternative to a human reader. So we can interpret the X-ray and we can interpret that in a few seconds and we can basically make sure that the that process of TB screening is much faster. And so the process is X-ray gets taken, uh, it is interpreted by CURE, and then followed by a microbiological test, a CBNAT test, right? So that is the protocol, and we are part of that protocol by uh, interpreting the X-ray. All right, so that's part of your protocol. Um, can you tell us, Prashant, what are the challenges faced by medical practitioners in adopting and leveraging um, AI in India? How are you working with relevant stakeholders in making this adoption seamless? No, so I think uh, what we found is that uh, India is very open to adopting AI. When we started building Cure, we thought that the market might be in the US or UK and uh, other geographies. But the reality is, I mean, this is, uh, this. I mean, India, I mean, we are seeing massive adoption. TV programs are adopting it across the country. We work with many sort of, uh, many um, TV programs across the country. We work with uh, Brihan Mumbai Municipal Corporation, BMC. So uh, there is, I mean, a lot of adoption and the primary challenge that India faces is that it takes a lot of time to get an X-ray read and you don't have enough readers in the country, you don't have enough radiologists in the country and especially for a radiologist, the X-ray interpretation is the lowest in the, in the pipe, right? I mean, you've basically got MRIs and CTs and so on, right? And you don't necessarily want to interpret X-rays and that is where we come in by automating that interpretation. We find that this is something that is massively adopted. We've crossed, I think, about... We've processed more than 1.5 to 2 million X-rays in the last three years in the country, in India. So this number is scaling up. We are in about 250 hospitals across the country. So we've seen massive, I mean, last, since the pandemic started, I would say about that time, right? About uh, from the time the pandemic started, we have seen a massive adoption uh, across the country in the usage of our technology. All right, so massive adoption there in the use of your technology. Hasmuk, Prashant, we're completely out of time, but thank you so much for joining us on Startup Street today. Thank you.
With that, it is a wrap on this edition of Startup Street. More news and updates coming up on the other side. Stay tuned. When our big boss was MD, 